Starting off first with a 1917 Lincoln Wheat Penny. Now this coin here is not in the best condition. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is only graded at a 12. On the lower end of the coin grading scale, however it does have that mint error, the coin has been struck off center, so that will give it a lot of value. This coin ended up selling for over $185. Had this coin been in much better condition, it could have sold for you know even more money. Moving on to a 1924 D mint mark wheat penny. This coin here, again, a lower graded coin graded at a VF 20 by PCGS. Now the coin does have a die break. So we'll see that little cud there at the bottom of the coin here. Now some will be much larger than this. Some could even be a little smaller than this. We'll probably look at a couple more here in this video. This coin ended up selling for around $70 in this condition. So again, had it been a mint state grade, of course, it would have sold for a lot more money. Now here's a 1929 S. We're going to get more modern here as we go. We go all the way up into the 1970s for this video. Uh, so this is graded by PCGS. The coin has been broad struck. Unfortunately, the coin has also been cleaned. So that will take away from the value. Do not clean your coins. That is a nice broad strike there though on that wheat penny. The coin only sold for a little over $60. Moving on to a 1935 Wheat Penny graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 Brown. That has been struck 5% off center, so we'll see that there most noticeably at the bottom of the penny. This coin ended up selling for a little over 80 US dollars. Moving on to a steel penny from 1943, it is the S Mint Mark. Again, this does not have a very good grade, so you know, uh, the condition always matters. You know, had this been in much better condition, it could have sold for a lot more money, but the coin still sold for $75 only because it has that die break, that small cud there at the bottom of the coin. Or if the cud was larger, much larger, taking up a big portion of the coin, then it would sell for more money as well. Now here's a 1950 D mint mark that was struck off center, 25% off center to be exact, graded by PCGS at a mint state 62 brown. So a much better conditioned penny here than the previous coins. This coin ended up selling for around $150. Next up is a 1951D mint mark that has been broad struck. Now this coin only sold for around 45 bucks, so not really worth having graded. You know, by the time you consider the price of grading and shipping and things like that, not really worth grading this coin. Uh, you can see that broad strike around the rim of the coin. You'll really see it there on the letters. Uh, but you know, this isn't a very extreme broad strike, you know, pretty minor there. 45 bucks for that coin. Now this next coin here sold for over $230. That's because it is the 1960 Lincoln cent that has a mint error. It was struck onto a split planchet. It's graded by PCGS at a mint state 61 brown. And like I say, $230 for that penny. Moving right along to a 1961 Lincoln cent. This coin has a nice grade of a mint state 64 red brown. It does have a defective planchet. The coin ended up selling for around $215. So not too bad for that. You know, all these different types of errors that we're showing you can happen on other coins as well. Not just pennies or not just specific dates. You know, uh, this is a 1961. So, you know, you could have a defective planchet on a quarter, you know, a modern quarter or something, not just a 1961 penny. Now this next one is not a penny. Uh, however, it is a 1962 Jefferson Nickel design that was overstruck onto a 1962 to one cent coin, a Lincoln cent. Uh, so that's really cool. This coin ended up selling for over $1,500. $1,500. Now here's another split planchet, 1962 Lincoln cent struck onto a split planchet, graded by PCGS at a mint state 61 brown. This coin ended up selling for around $60. Here's a 1964 D mint mark Lincoln cent that was struck 80% off center, uh, graded at a mint state 63. This coin ended up selling for around $240. Now here's a much larger cud, also uh, referred to as a die break, because that's what it is, die break. Uh, graded by PCGS at an AU55, it is the 1965 Lincoln cent. You'll see that die break or that cud at the top of the coin there on top of Lincoln's head. This coin sold for over $165. Here's another off-center coin that sold in 2021 recently. 
Uh, this is a 1968D mint mark graded by PCGS at a nice grade, mint state 65 red, and it struck 65% off center. This coin sold for over $190. Next up is a 1969D mint mark that was struck 60% off center. This penny ended up selling for over $120. And then here is a nice die cap. So the 1970D mint mark here that sold for over $130 because of the mint error and because of the grade. It looks very normal on the reverse. On the front, you see how the coin was struck through that capped die. Like I said, this coin sold for over $130. This next penny here has a late stage brockage uh, graded by PCGS at an AU58. It is the 1971D Lincoln Cent. Uh, this coin ended up selling for $120 as well. Now here's a pretty cool cud or a die break on a 1972D mint mark. We'll see that there at the bottom left uh, of the penny there. This coin ended up selling for over $130. It does have that mint state 64 grade as well. And here on the reverse, you'll see how it's all faded out on this side on the opposite side of where that die break is on the obverse. Here's another 1972 penny that sold for over $215 because it was struck 65% off center and it has a grade of a mint state 63 red brown. Now here's a 1973 Lincoln cent that was struck 15% off center. This coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 63 red brown. And this coin ended up selling for over $1,000. I have a hard time believing uh, that sold for $1,000, but that is the price listed on the auction. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.